I think we need to start with the Italian banks because when you speak to international investors, they don't really understand why the conversation on recapitalizing the banks are taking so long. What is the effect that these protracted negotiations have on banks, but also on the Italian economy? Well, um, I have some experience uh, having been a competition commissioner for a number of years and uh, state aid issues in particular pertaining to financial institutions are very, very complicated. So I'm not too surprised that uh, the conversation between Commissioner Vestager and Minister Paduan takes long. Uh, however, I do hope they are soon concluded. This would help. But uh, most important will be, I think, uh, the general uh, stance of the relationship between the EU and Italy concerning uh, uh, the control of public finance. So there, Minister Padoan has uh, something to do. He has announced it. It's a, it's a complementary set of interventions to put Italy fully in line with the EU requirements. And if this is, is achieved soon, as I hope, then I believe that also the issue of the banks uh, will uh, be surrounded by a more uh, positive atmosphere. Uh, Senator, are recapitalization of banks what is needed, or would you fix them in another way? I think recapitalization uh, is uh, uh, needed, and uh, I think uh, uh, for Italy, Monte dei Paschi, but also for other countries, uh, uh, this time around it has been uh, an experimental phase uh, after the uh, shift uh, from the bailout uh, concept to the bail-in concept, um, which uh, I think was a sound uh, step to take. Uh, it was not really fully assimilated in the culture and in the behavior right. of financial institutions, of government, and even of supervisory authorities. Mr. Monti, help me here with a cash call. We just saw from Deutsche Bank. We saw one less large, I would suggest, from Unicredit. In the further cash calls to come, are you beginning to see European banking acting more American-like and clearing their markets? Uh, to some extent, yes. Uh, I hope uh, they uh, do not uh, go too far, though, in behaving like American banks, because uh, we had American banks uh, even before 2007, 2008, and uh, uh, the pattern there was not uh, always uh, exemplary, as we know. Within that is the battle of the new banking. Does Europe need a J.P. Morgan? Um, you mean a, a historic personality like uh, J.P. Morgan no, they've or got that a in, bank they've like got J.P. In, they've got that in Francine Lacroix. Help me here with the idea that Europe needs a dominant bank, a J.P. Morgan equivalent, that over the next five or ten years can compete with the American banks. Does Europe need that? Uh, Europe may need uh, that, uh, indeed. And uh, uh, I think also the, you know, the nationality of banks uh, is something that is uh, uh, blurring a bit over time, but certainly a mainly EU uh, owned uh, bank of uh, global size, uh, considering uh, the JP Morgans uh, and considering the uh, upcoming Chinese uh, banks uh, would, be, uh, would be in order, would be, would be appropriate. Even though, uh, even said, though in many of our European, yes, even though in, I was ending, in many of our European countries there is a big problem of reaching the, the retail level in uh, in financing banks, uh, sorry, in financing uh, small and medium enterprises. So, the two, probably the two ends of the spectrum, need need, need to be reinforced in Europe: the super giant and also the the the, the retail system.
Yeah, Senator, just one last question on banks, and then we'll talk more about uh, Europe. But actually, when you look at uh, the recapitalization, you'll need to do a lot of cost adjust, uh, adjustments for a lot of the banks that will be recapitalized. Is the Italian government the right person to do those cost adjustments? Well, it will have to, to be, uh, and it will have to do that. And I think... Uh, uh, the current uh, uh, government under Prime Minister Gentiloni and the current finance minister Piercarlo Padoan are in the uh, in the right uh, mood to do that. Uh, they, of course, they are uh, in the midst of uh, the political context, uh, but they are uh, highly aware of also the uh, needs of the uh, economy and of a solid. Uh, anchoring of Italy in the EU, so I'm sure they, they, would, uh, they will do, uh, to cite a famous uh, uh, phrase, whatever mm -hmm. it takes.